One concept of digital recording that you need to understand is latency. So what is latency and why is it a problem? Back in the day, sound was recorded to tape. Uh, recording tape. Everything moved from the microphone at the speed of light. You'd talk into the mic and your voice would be converted to an analog electrical signal. This signal was amplified and conducted to the recording heads of the tape recorder, which magnetized the tape. Okay, okay. The point is this happened instantly. However, with digital recording, the analog signal is converted to ones and zeros. These are then sent down the USB cable one by one, where they are collected by the computer and stored in memory. This process is controlled by the algorithm of your recording software. Okay, stick with me now. All this happens fast, but each step takes milliseconds. So the actual timing of the recording is delayed. How much delay? It can be up to 400 milliseconds. 400 milliseconds isn't fast. It's about a half a second. And it sounds like Elvis in the stairwell of Sun Records. And this is latency. When is it a problem? In several situations. On older USB mics, you couldn't hear your voice in the headphones unless you monitored the signal as the computer was recording it. It was called software playthrough of the input, and it didn't work. Try reading, Try the, reading copy the copy with this, with in, this your in your ears. Modern USB mics and interfaces have latency-free monitoring, where your headphones are listening to the original analog signal before digitizing, so latency is no longer a problem. But what about with multi-track music recording? If you're recording several musical tracks one after another while listening to the previous track, each new track will be delayed by a third of a second and the music will be out of time completely. But it seems like this wouldn't hurt a voiceover recording. After all, you're only recording one track of voice. Well, that's okay, unless you're using punch and roll recording. With punch and roll recording, the recording software automatically resumes recording or punches in at the place you choose at the end of the last good phrase. I describe how to use punch and roll in another video. You might want to check that out. But if the new recording is delayed by an additional third of a second, it's going to affect the timing of the recorded phrases. Your performance will be slightly delayed and sound unnatural. I'm going to show you how to fix the latency delay in Audacity software but similar adjustments are available in many of the other recording apps. In Audacity, the simplest way to adjust the latency setting is just to guess. Since the amount of processing time is about a third of a second, it will vary from interface to interface, computer to computer, and software to software. Just choose 300 milliseconds as a starting guess. Here's what to do. Go to Audacity Preferences, under Audacity on a Mac or Edit on a PC. Then select Devices. On the Devices screen on the bottom, you'll see the label Latency Compensation. This is the number of milliseconds that Audacity uses to back up the recording to adjust for the inherent delay. Put the number negative 300 in this box and click OK. The number is negative because the Audacity software will move the recording to an earlier time by this amount. This guess may be off by 10 or 20 milliseconds either way, but that will not be a noticeable difference. But if you're recording multi-track music, this setting should be more precise. You need to determine the exact delay required by experimentation. Here's how to do that. Open a new Audacity project. 
First, in the Devices tab of Audacity Preferences, set the latency compensation to zero and click OK. Next, we need to create a click track with Audacity's built-in metronome. Go to Generate, and in the drop-down menu, select Rhythm Track and click OK. This will create a steady series of metronome clicks with a strong beat followed by three softer beats. It will look like this. Now we need to record the sound of this track to a new track. The easiest way to do this is to set the Audacity input to built-in microphone and set the Audacity output to built-in speakers. Basically, we're using your built-in mic to record the sound of the click from your computer speakers. You can also use a mic you have set up for recording instead of the built-in mic. This setup can cause a feedback loop with a loud squeal. So set the output and record levels a bit low and then raise them if you need to. Now hold down the shift key and click record or press the R key. Audacity will record a new track from the sound of the click track and it'll look like this. Okay, now things get interesting. At the bottom of Audacity, you'll see three time clocks with a pull down menu above them. Click the menu and select Length and End of Selection. Then expand your recording horizontally with a magnifying glass until you see a couple of clicks on the screen. Then click and drag the selection cursor from the beginning of a click track click to the beginning of a recorded track click. You'll see that the recorded click is noticeably delayed after the original click. That, my friends, is latency. Now look at the first clock. This indicates the length of the latency in milliseconds, that last number. If it doesn't show milliseconds, click the down arrow next to that clock to select the display of milliseconds. Take note of this latency number and open Audacity Preferences Device tab again. Type this number with a minus sign in front of it into the latency compensation box. We want a negative number because we want Audacity to slide the new recording to the left, which makes it play earlier and sync up with the original recording. Click OK and you've corrected the latency of your recordings. But, and this is important, this setting is only accurate for the setup you're using. If you change USB mics, or your interface box, or your computer, you will have to recalibrate the latency setting for the new setup. It's also good to write down the equipment you're using and its combined latency number in case you have to reassemble everything at a later date. Like I said, correcting latency is important. If you're using punch and roll recording or doing multi-track recording, I'll leave a link in the description to the Audacity manual that also describes how to do this for your reference. If this video was helpful, hit the like button, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And for information on my online and live voiceover classes, go to alisocreek.net. I'm William Williams, reminding you, keep talking.